Hello and welcome to Firepower Device Manager's IPS and File Policy Learning Module. This video is part of the mini-series called Cisco Firepower Device Manager. If you haven't already, please take a look at the introduction video to get an overview of what is Firepower Device Manager. It is a new web-based simplified device manager to manage Cisco's integrated next generation firewall or what we call the Firepower Threat Defense software offering. In this session, we will look at how intrusion and FOIL policies can work together as the last line of defense before traffic is allowed to its destination. Intrusion policies govern the system's intrusion prevention capabilities, while file policies govern the system's file control and advanced malware protection for firepower capabilities. All other traffic handling occurs before the network traffic is examined for intrusions, prohibited files, and malware. You can configure intrusion and file policies on rules that allow traffic only. Inspection is not performed on rules set to trust or block traffic. In addition, if the default action of the file access control policy is allow, you can configure an intrusion policy, but not a file policy. For any single connection handled by the access control rule, file inspection occurs before intrusion inspection. That is, the system does not inspect files blocked by a file policy for intrusions. Within the file inspection, simple blocking by type takes precedence over malware inspection and blocking. Until a file is detected and blocked in a session, packets from the session may be subject to intrusion inspection. Today, Firepy Device Manager provides a canned level for intrusion policies and a canned list that you can choose from for file policies. With that, let's jump into the demo. Here is the topology that we're going to be using for our demo today. In this session, we will create an allow access rule so we can actually apply and IPS and file policies to interested traffic. We will then test the IPS and file policy by downloading on some test malware files. We will explore the IPS file and malware events. So going back to our topology, this is a topology that we're gonna to use to de demo. Uh, we will be creating our IPS and malware policy on the Firepower Threat Defense, and then we will test it by downloading some malware on the PC1 from our outside web server, which is outside.com. So here is our Firepower Device Manager. Let's go ahead to Cloud Preferences and make sure that we've checked our box for lookup for Cisco CSI for unknown URLs. And then we can go to our access control policy and let's go ahead and add a policy, give it a name. This time we're gonna do a block malware policy and notice that it needs to be done on an allow or permitted traffic through your network. Let's go to file policy and in file policy you will see the four pre-can policies that we talked about. The block malware all is the one that we're going to select for the purpose of this demo. And in intrusion policy tab you can see our levels of pre-can intrusion policies. Balance security, security over connectivity and maximum detection. Let's go ahead and see the show diagram quickly, which pretty much gives you an overview of how the traffic is going to flow and what policies are getting applied. In logging, just verify that log files is enabled by default 
and let's turn on beginning and end of connection logging as well to make sure we're getting events. Oh, let's turn that order to one for the purpose of this demo so all our traffic gets hit on this allow traffic to make sure we're hitting the policy. In, in, uh, in a case of real deployment, you probably want to place your allow rule um, after all the block rules. Let's go ahead and deploy it. Once the deployment is done, let's go ahead and try to test our malware policy by going on to PC1, open Firefox, and from for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use private browsing so we're not downloading any cache traffic. Let's go to outside.com and in files, I have something called zombies.pdf, which I'm going to try to download. And voila, the connection was reset because of the policy hit and you can see the HTTP header here on the side. Let's also try to download one more exe file. And notice what happens, you get a message that was not allowed and blocked and you need to contact the server administrator. Let's go into monitoring and quickly see the events that were generated because of the file block. Let's go to malware file and notice we do see the two malware block which have a disposition of malware. We can click on view details and notice much more details about the event that was generated. The cloud disposition from our AMP cloud was malware. The file SHA-256 is also noticed here. And you can see what file or malware policy you had selected or hit. We can then go into connection events. And you can see the same connection events that were noted when the file event was generated. Let's try to see a rule action and filter it on block so we're only looking at our file block events. You see the reason here says file block, the action was block, and in the URL it will show you what the URL is. Let's click on view details of one of this and notice the URL that you had for outside.com file zombies.pdf and many more details onto one access policy and a firewall policy that was hit. So this is how we would configure and test our IPS and file. Thank you for joining me today in this session for IPS and malware policies for our Firepower Device Manager. And don't forget to look at the other videos and learn more about Firepower Device Manager. Thank you again. Thank <laughs> you.